serious <laughs> me eyes coming over here. Stay information, our old man's coming in right behind us. Oh! TGI Fridays first opened its doors in 1965 in New York thanks to Alan Stillman, a perfume salesman. While thank God it's Friday might be an ideology for people to express their relief after their weekday endeavors, Stillman's vision was a respite for men and women to experience a cocktail party experience in a public setting, and thus emerged America's popular chain, serving the young and single with over 900 restaurants in about 60 countries. So now let's look at the top 10 untold truths about TGI Fridays. Now what was it that you ordered? A martini! What's in that? A conduit for singles to mingle. We may have created the first line in the history of the restaurant business. Fridays opened its doors to the public in New York in 1965. Stillman envisioned the place in hopes of meeting air stewardesses, models, and secretaries residing in his neighborhood on the east side of Manhattan. Initially, it was promoted as a singles bar, as during that period, it was hard for singles to meet in a public setting. Stillman's story proves that all innovative ideas are not born behind secretive closed doors and drinking copious amounts of caffeine. He salvaged the opportunity of his affinity of meeting these single ladies in his vicinity and transferred that prospect towards a cocktail bar on the Upper East Side, which thrived on the notion of serving singles in a casual setting, away from bars and private events, and that restricted men and women to hang out in a public place. With the creation of the birth control pill around the time of Friday's opening, Stillman considers the timing impeccable. He says he just so happened to hit the sexual revolution on the head, and therefore became the founder of the first singles bar. You could say that the establishment of TGI Fridays changed the American restaurant chain business forever, and we have seen seen many imitating the ambiance of the renowned chain restaurant Juggernaut. Since its humble beginnings, TGI Fridays has further grown in popularity and has continued to be a place for people to meet, mingle, and indulge in casual dinner and drinks. I want to take you out to dinner, and then I want to go back to my apartment and watch Kung Fu. Do you ever watch Kung Fu? Indulge us a little bit. Click that subscribe button and tap that bell to join our notification squad. Cocktail and Friday's flair tending. Ever heard of flair no. bartending? No. According to Stillman, Tom Cruise's character, Brian Flanagan, from the 1988 movie Cocktail, was inspired by him. In one of his interviews, he mentions how Cruise's Brian Flanagan was imitating what Stillman and his team had done with Fridays at the time, including all the fancy flipping of bottles and drinks. With the popularity of Stillman at the time and Friday's signature flair tending skills, these claims do seem credible. In 2010, the chain had even requested the Olympic Committee to recognize bartending as a sport. This shows that Fridays takes their talents quite seriously. Now only if you could spot Tom Cruise serving a drink on your weekend off from work at a TGI Fridays. Fridays grabs Guinness record. If somebody goes back and breaks our record, we'll be back to break it again. In 2011, TGI Fridays cemented its name in the Guinness record for the most people cocktail flaring for two minutes. The bartenders attended the open air event in the Covent Garden Piazza, London, and showcased their skills to the song Hippie Hippie Shake, which was ironically prominent in the flick Cocktail. I got the hippie hippie shake! 105 TGI Fridays bartenders attempted to perform a choreographed flare routine, which included a C-step, a backward throw and catch of a cocktail shaker. On the third and final attempt, 101 bartenders were successful, handing them the Guinness World Record while celebrating TGI Fridays 25th anniversary in the UK. Can someone make flare tending an official Olympic sport already? Flanagan Mixologist and the AI Connection at Fridays. I like Friday's ribs that are big and I cannot lie. You other AIs can't deny. Coined Flanagan after Tom Cruise's character in the film Cocktail, TGI Fridays introduced an innovative system which would help promote a different kind of alcoholic beverage. With 300 different taste profiles mixed with unexpected ingredients, the AI helps create drinks based on a customer's mood and flavor preferences. The chain's innovative motives don't just stop with Flanagan. In 2017, TGI Fridays used predictive churn technology to foresee when people would leave the app. Those who would be leaving would be selected and encouraged through push notifications with offers based on their past purchases. With over 500 restaurants across the U.S., TGI Fridays plans to use AI to gather data and implement it to customer service. I'm here for the free beer. You got it. Right after these 800 people get it. <laughs> 
The idea is that when you go into your local bar, the bartender knows you, and the TGI Fridays app will help be able to serve you at the same level. So the next time you want to get served a drink or order online, you'll be covered, thanks to AI. The Corpus Christi prototype design at Fridays. Bigger, bolder, Meteor. In 2016, TGI Fridays discarded its dark wood and red striped interiors for a Scandinavian style aesthetic at one of the branches in Corpus Christi, Texas. With coffee and juice stations filling the prototype design space and multiple bars and hangouts similar to coffee shops, the restaurant chain has made the move to cater to the millennials who have different tastes and preferences compared to the older generation. One of Fridays' spokespersons told BuzzFeed News that since the inception of Fridays, when it was a singles bar, their clients Intel expects it to be a place where they can have fun and meet up with new and old friends. But that looks differently today than it did back then. The hours have also been extended from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. A revamped menu consisting of hangover brunch on Saturdays and Sundays comprises of Bloody Marys, smoothies, and chicken and waffles to name a few. The spokesperson proudly said that their guests come to Fridays as a destination where they can have fun and socialize. And as their needs change, Fridays needs to change too. The place is also fully Wi-Fi equipped for those who use laptops and other electronics. Like they say, out with the old, in with the new. Oh, it's okay. No, no, I'm allowed to say it's a bachelor party. Drink up, everybody. Charity with a heart. We're fortunate enough to have uh, three entire Make-A-Wish families join us for a little bit of lunch. Whether it is the customer base or the employees, Fridays is all about the people connected to them one way or another. With its nonprofit organization, Have a Heart, Fridays provides grants to employees who have suffered tragedy, have been inflicted with a financial crunch, or have suffered the brunt of a natural disaster. I want to just thank you on behalf of TGI Fridays for coming out to such a great event. Excellent. The internal charity is funded by employees, and they have an option to contribute through payroll deductions or participate or indulge in year-round fundraisers for the organization. Fridays acts as one big happy family that cares for the cogs propelling the machinery to work efficiently, and their team member handbook clearly mentions in the end, now that you're part of our Fridays family, you're officially responsible for delivering that Fridays experience and embracing the love of all things Friday, including the fun, excitement, and real pure potential that Fridays holds. Recently, the CEO Aslam Khan said, whatever our race, gender, sexual preference, or national origin, we are all born with certain essential liberties. By simple virtue of our humanity, we have the right to enjoy a cold one with buddies at a lively TGI Fridays bar, or take in the restaurant's fun, festive, and slightly quirky atmosphere while seated in a cozy booth on date night. Now that's endorsing a positive attitude and embracing diversity and having a heart about it. Ain't that cute? The life of a bartender at TGI Fridays. Is TGI Fridays as incredible as it looks? Pretty good. Before the family restaurant ideology was introduced to TGI Fridays, the franchise used to be a singles bar that happened to serve food. Shut. Up. The bartender was at the top of the ecosystem. According to Mike Werner, one of Friday's master bar trainers in the UK, one had to learn how to make 400 drinks and pass a test. It didn't just end there. To top it off, 25 of those drinks you had to achieve while blindfolded. This had to be performed within a certain time limit, and all you could lean on was your muscle memory to accomplish the feat. To add to that, they couldn't be racist and were expected to have the ability to make jokes while entertaining and mingling with the guests. Werner said, that a master bartender knows how to get customers involved. Also, long before the AI and mixology consultants of the 21st century, trainees had to know the science behind the spirits and brand backgrounds. No wonder Fridays grabbed the Guinness World Record for flaring, especially when trainees have to undergo bartending finesse that requires immaculate grace and skill. Hey, uh, take care of this for me, will you? <laughs> Office space and the destruction of flair. <laughs> <laughs> Back in 1999, Mike Judge's comedy Office Space came out. At the time, it did not leave much of an impact on the audiences, but over the years, it became more and more popular. Yeah. If you could just go ahead and make sure you do that from now on, that would be great. There's a scene in the film in which Jennifer Aniston's character, Joanna, is asked by her boss to wear more than the 15 pieces of flair she is wearing, and he points out another server, Brian, whose suspenders are adorned with 37 pieces of flair. Joanna repeatedly expresses disgust about the flair in the flick. This scene was based on real-life buttons servers had to wear at the time in restaurants, and Friday's was one of them. Because people referred to the hilarious scene in restaurants, 
restaurants at the time, TGI Fridays ditched the idea. In a way, Judd should be thanked for his subtle contribution to the server's fashion aesthetics at Fridays. In many ways, popular culture does have an influence or is inspired from our life, which inadvertently can make even small changes as that of the case of the flair. In his interview with Deadline, Judge said that one of his assistant directors was asked once at their restaurant why their flair was missing, and they said they removed it because of that movie, Office Space. So maybe Judge has made the world a better place, just like how the film Titanic in 1997 raised the curiosity of people to know about the ill-fated maiden voyage of the ship, thus bringing the story of the ocean liner to a new generation. Office Space gives the viewer a satirical glimpse of the everyday work life of frustrated individuals, bettering the reality it was inspired from in that process. Never underestimate the power of pop culture. When you say uh, next door, do you mean uh, chilies or, or flingers? Flingers. TGI Fridays and the invention of potato skins. It's Friday, Friday, gotta catch up on Friday. Before the appeal of potato skins, the peels were usually tossed away as it was not considered worthy of restaurant menus. Apart from using the inside of the potato for different recipes, restaurants came up with the idea of throwing the peels into the deep fryer and decorating them with bacon, cheese, and sour cream. Like the mystery behind the Mona Lisa's smile, the exact origins of this appetizer remain a mystery as well, as many chains have come out in the 70s crediting themselves as the inventor of potato skins, including TGI Fridays. According to the chain, they came up with it in 1974. Matt Durbin, the chain's vice president, tells of the legend that one of their cooks was making mashed potatoes, but decided to drop the potato skin in the fryer. When it came out, he threw their proprietary fry seasoning on it, added cheddar and smoked bacon, and the rest was history. Despite the lack of knowledge on where potato skins originated, Fridays sure did make it popular among the masses. In fact, it still hasn't lost its demand, while other food items keep shifting or getting newly introduced. Potato skins still it there, untouched by time. In 2016, the company served 3 million pounds of potato skins in 900 locations in 60 countries, ranging from Argentina to Kyrgyzstan. That sure is a lot of potato skins. Banking on the phenomena, Fridays has also introduced frozen potato skins that are available in almost all grocery stores in the U.S. You have any idea what just happened there? Not a clue. It is fascinating how this clever move of using a food scrap and giving it its own identity has helped escalate its acceptance by the people so much over the years, to the point that many copycat versions have also emerged in order to capitalize on TGI Friday's famous appetizer. The next time you visit Friday's, you surely would not want to miss out on those loaded potato skins, complete with melted cheese and crispy bacon. Now that's repurposed scrap food that actually tastes good as much as it sounds good. No cash? No problem at TGI. Fridays. Just give me the money! By now we know that TGI Fridays doesn't shy away from technology, be it the Flanagan Mixologist or the AI-induced customer service. As part of innovation through rejuvenation and upgrades on technological and decor fronts, the company as of 2012 has introduced a mobile app, which is considered as a breakthrough. With an enhanced functionality and a recently overhauled interface, the app lets you pay at the table. This is the next step to the casual dining experience which the franchise has promoted since its inception. Through the app, you can browse the menu menu, track tabs, and pay bills. Also, tips for your server can be accomplished through it. It's that simple and convenient. Since the 1960s, TGI Fridays has molded and pruned itself, keeping up with the times. In an era of technological innovation where information is accessible with but the press of your fingertips, the company has managed to stay relevant. How do you do, fellow kids? What? It has been accommodating different generations of people visiting its various chains across the globe. The constant endeavor to set itself apart from other competition is maybe why, even after 52 years, Fridays is still the talk of the town. And even places like Moscow and India have got a taste of the American restaurant and bar. So next time you visit, how are you mixing your drinks? We can't recommend the perfect cocktail, but we can definitely offer you tons of great videos. So hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and stick around. We've got plenty more for you to watch.